Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Dodge and Dodge Durango headquarters. Today we are checking out this extremely good looking 2021 brand new Dodge Durango GT all wheel drive. This vehicle has the award winning 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 motor. It's going to get you 25 miles per gallon on the highway, 18 city, and an average of 21. New color for the Durango this year, it's called Reactor Blue. Paint code is PBF, also known as Slate Blue, also known as Shade Blue on the Cherokees, Slate Blue on the Grand Cherokees. We shoot all of our videos in 1080p, 60 frames per second, so if you have HD capabilities on your computer, tablet, or smartphone device, turn them on right now because it is definitely your best way to check out the look, styling, options and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person and if you'd like to check out all the photos of this Durango on our website in the upper right hand part of the screen a link to this vehicle on our website click that and check us out there this one also has the black top package which gives you the 20 inch black noise painted alloy rims it's kind of a metallic black painted rim and those come with that black top edition and it has Pirelli Scorpion Verde 26550 R20 Performance Tires. And that's, uh, to get the Pirelli Verdes is a 395 option. This one has LED running lights, LED headlamps, and LED fog lamps. We'll turn those on at the end of the video so you can see just how nice and bright those are. This one has the Technology Group, which gives you the Adaptive Cruise Control, Forward Collision Warning, Lane Keep Assist, or lane departure warning, I guess you could say. And then, um, as well as blind spot cross path detection. This one has the sport hood, which is a $1,495 option. And uh, you also get the black, gloss black mirror backs with the midnight, or I'm sorry, midnight black top edition. It's almost midnight here, so it's getting late. Here's the original window sticker. We'll take a quick look at that. Feel free to pause this at any point. You can see it is a GT black top all wheel drive. Reactor blue is the color, black interior, 3.6 liter, 8-speed automatic transmission. Everything's your standard equipment right there. Your optional equipment starts right there, which is your preferred package 2BE, which would be the GT package. Is a $4,000 option, gives you the leather and suede bucket seats, tungsten accent stitching, bright front door sill scuff pads, bright cargo area scuff pads, and... What they mean by those are these guys right there, where it says Dodge. And then uh, you also get the heated seats, heated second row seats, the power lift gate, power driver's seat, lumbar, exterior mirrors with uh, signals and memory, memory for radio, driver's seat, security alarm, heated steering wheel, um, USB port charge only, 18 inch compact spare, remote start system, and then the universal garage door opener or home link. Technology group is $2,495, which gives you advanced brake assist, rain sensitive windshield wipers, lane departure, full speed collision warning plus, and adaptive cruise control. The black top package is a $1,295 option, which gives you those 20 inch rims and the gloss black badges and exterior mirrors. Premium one group gives you the power sunroof, the nav, the black roof rails, the cross rails, nine Alpine amplified speakers with subwoofer, Sirius Guardian for a trial with a trial period, 4G LTE, Wi-Fi hotspot, Sirius XM with 360L, connected travel and traffic services, and you connect five navigation with the 10.1 inch radio, um, which is that radio right there, which is new for the Durango this year. Also the new dash, which we'll take a close up look at in just a second. Uh, but back to the sticker here, you get the second row fold and tumble captain's chairs, which is $1,195. The performance hood's $1,495. Tires are $3.95 and blind spot and cross path detection is actually an extra charge of $4.95. 53925 is your total MSRP to get your summit price in the upper right hand part of the screen. There's a link to this vehicle on our website to get all the web, uh, rebates and incentives that we are offering. 3 year 36 bumper to bumper, 5 year 60 powertrain. There's your miles per gallon. 
Durango's pretty safe vehicles, five star crash test rating on the side there, three star rollover, but they didn't test. It's not rated for the overall score or front crash test ratings. We'll continue the walk around here. It does have four wheel disc, heavy duty brakes, backup parking sensors, part of that blind spot cross path detection. You get the dual chrome tipped exhaust with the GT package. The backup parking sensors, the blacked out gloss black Durango and GT logo, as well as the Dodge logo in the uh, tail lamps there. This is a power lift gate. You get those bright scuff pads back here. If anybody likes those unboxing videos. When the plastic comes off. Anyways, this is your subwoofer back here. Your jack tools are located back there, or right in there. And then you do get a nice little storage area. These seats do fold down completely flat, which is really nice. You just lift up there and push it down, and then they go down like so. And then you can grab that strap to pull it back. And then those second row seats do collapse flat as well. To get this gate down, you press the button here. It'll beep at you three times, two, three. Then it'll come on down. Actually beeps at you a total of four, but on the third beep, it comes down. Uh, reactor blue, really a good looking color. I like it on the Grand Cherokees. I like it even more on the Durangos. Has the capless fuel fill. Our picture studio is a little weird. If you get up close to it, you don't really get a good feel of the blue. Uh, kind of gets orange on you. But if the farther back you go, the more you can actually see the actual color of the blue. Anyways, blind spot monitoring, heated mirrors, directional signals. The enter and go system, you just have to have the key fob in your pocket, you put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. Inside the GT package gives you the black leather and suede seats. Both of these seats are heated in the front and power, and you get that tungsten stitching, power driver seat with lumbar, factory floor mats, auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power windows, power locks, power mirrors, you get this cool carbon fiber door trim, and then you do get the kind of black chrome trim around the door handles, memory driver seat. You get the seven inch LCD display here. And we'll turn the ignition on here so you can see the cool Durango animation there. Get that digital speedometer, outside compass, a temperature display, and you can change those corners to read pretty much whatever you'd like. And then you get the heated leather wrap steering wheel cruise controls adaptive cruise controls on the right bluetooth and information center controls on the left you get the optional tap shift paddle shifters there and then the uconnect 10.1 inch radio and so what they've done is they instead of having just a square there they kind of made it more like a tablet so you have uh it's actually hooked up to Google Maps right now through Android Auto. Um, I had just had a cell phone hooked up in here. I don't know if it's still hooked up through uh, Wi-Fi or how it's doing. It's probably through Wi-Fi, so um, that's kind of cool. But you can do your home. Now that's the factory navigation system on there. And you also have uh, your different climate controls here. And it works very similar to the 8.4s. Um, just a little bit different layout. I do like on the home screen you have your music over here, you have your navigation here, and then you have like even more buttons on the bottom to go to wherever you want. Um, and then you can do your climate controls, your heated seats, heated steering wheel, and you can go to your vehicle. There's a whole bunch of uh, different options in here. You can change everything around. You can go to your different apps and uh, just a lot of stuff. We could do an entire video just on the new radio and how it works, but everything's just set up just a little bit different um, than the 8.4s, but uh, it's a really cool radio and works really easy. I like the touch screen. It seems like it, it works a little bit better than the 8.4s. And um, 
The only thing I can't do is get the backup camera to come up here. But if you start it up and then turn it on, you can see that shows up there. You have your dynamic grid lines, meaning that they're going to turn as you turn that steering wheel, and that center line is going to line right up with your center of your vehicle. So if you ever were to put a receiver hitch on here, it'd line right up with that. And then you have uh, all your different climate controls down here too. I like how it's set up. It's you know driver facing a little bit, it's tilted just a little bit towards the driver, um, and the controls are nicely laid out, and it's it's separated. You know everything's nicely separated and in its own spot. Down here you get two USBs, two USB-Cs, and an AUX jack, a nice big storage area. I think you can get a cell phone charge pad that goes in here um, on different models. Not really sure what option that would be. You get your keyless entry with your remote start. They really haven't changed that. But just kind of take a look at how they redesigned the dash. Saw a couple of those Grand Cherokee L videos, and it's kind of set up similar to that. The dash, anyways. Power sunroof. You got your home link buttons for your garage door security systems, lane systems, map lights, rear gate button, SOS and assist buttons, and that rear view mirror. And uh, we'll take a quick look at the back seats. And then uh, I'll do one more final walk around with all the lights on and everything. You do get those second row tumble captain's chairs. These back seats are heated. You do get two USBs and a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in back here. Cup holders. These seats fold down like so. Grab the red strap. They fold up like that. And to get to those third row seats, which are also leather and suede trim, you do get rear air controls back here as well. Get that carbon fiber trim on the door and child safety locks on the back doors. I'm actually going to start it up so we can check out the fog lights too. And I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today and hopefully from this HD video you will have gotten a really good idea of the overall looks and styling and color of the vehicle and specifically the options on this particular GT Blacktop Edition. Those super bright LED running lights, headlights, and fog lights. Once again, thanks for checking out the video, and remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video, and to see more pictures of this Durango or one of our other 450 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, you name it, we gotta go to that website right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left. Link to more Dodge Durango videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website, on the bottom, a link to this vehicle on our website. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Dodge Durango GT all-wheel drive blacktop and reactor blue. Um, thanks for checking out the video.